Last but not least, a very far-reaching characteristic of digitalization is what I call algorithmification for the lack of a better word. And that refers to the fact that a lot of routines that have been previously executed by humans and a lot of decisions that have been previously executed by humans are now taken and executed by algorithms. So they are executed by machines. And that is kind of like an epitome of the ICT convergence, the convergence between stored storage, communication, and computation. So for example, in a social network, you have stored information, your posts, you have communication networks, people who connect to the post, and now computation, computers, algorithms, take the decision of which kind of stored information exp is exposed to whom and when. So this is possible because of this merger, the ICT convergence between storage, communication and computation on the digital paradigm. Algorithmification becomes very important as we migrate from the web 1.0 to the web 3.0. So the web 1.0 referred to an internet of organizations, basically. So institutions had web pages. Web 2.0 meant that suddenly everybody had the possibility to have a web page, for example, through social media. And the web 3.0 means that now everything has at least an IP address. And you can see that through that, things are suddenly capable of predicting their own behavior, so through algorithms, address their own health, communicate with other things and tell them, look, I'm, a machine might be saying, look, I, I, I'm, I'm running out, I have like a day left, I need have have you this repaired, uh, there's adaptation to changing environments as they communicate among each other and the coordination of distributed resources and, and many more characteristics, which are enabled as well by this what I call algorithmification, which means that stored information, databases, and communication networks are now governed by this artificial intelligence by algorithms.